This is Glen Shiel, and it gave me one of the only breathtaking experiences I've ever had in sim racing and in VR as a whole. Glen Shiel is an Assetto Corsa free roam map set in the highlands of Scotland. You may recognise the landscape and features from Forza Horizon, or the early Glencoe modded map for Assetto Corsa. Clocking up 109km of road, this map is comparable to the Shotoko Revival project, although in my opinion it is much better in every single way. But before we get into the rest of the video, please consider hitting those like and subscribe buttons. Only a tiny percentage of my viewers are actually subscribed and it would mean a lot if you did. Thank you. Upon landing in, it just looks like a regular Assetto Corsa free roam map. However, as you start to explore the green wilderness of Glen Shiel, you start to notice just how large it is. Once you climb a small hill or even a snowy mountain, you can get a good look at the vast expanse of landscape littered with trees, roads, valleys, mountains, castles and so much more. In VR, the sense of scale is immense. The landscape just seems to go on and on and on. The mountains dwarf you, or alternatively, once you finally manage to climb to the top of a mountain, you literally feel like you're on top of the world. And it really feels like you could just keep driving forever. This is something that I haven't yet experienced in VR, and it truly was amazing. I often found myself shaking my head or cussing to myself in sheer amazement at a view. I even got out of my sim rig a few times just so I could admire the environment while standing and turn a full 360 degrees. The map reminds me of some role playing game maps like the one in Skyrim, but in a good way. It's beautiful and extremely immersive. The roads of Glenshill are fun. With a mix of long straights, snaking mountain roads, racetracks and playgrounds, there is never a shortage of fun to be had. What's more, there are a couple of surfaces that you can find in Glen Shill. From your regular tarmac roads, to worn down gravel, to snowy mountain roads that try to fling you off the edge at a moment's notice. To my knowledge, there isn't any existing Assetto Corsa track that lets you experience different types of roads quite like this one. One minute you could be battling the ice on top of a mountain, then on your descent you'll find some Akina-like hairpins the next moment. It really offers something different. Most open world tracks in Assetto just use the exact same road with the exact same texture for the entirety of the map. Comparing Glenshiel to Shotoko directly is unfair, as they're two completely separate beasts. However, what we can compare is performance. You would think Shotoko would run better, as there is a lot less environment to render, but thankfully this is not the case. Glenshiel runs amazingly. I had absolutely zero lag spikes while playing in both single player and multiplayer on a server with 20 drivers connected. I run a 1080 and a 6800K processor and managed to get a stable 90fps in VR. Overall I highly recommend this mod. After just one night of playing with it, I can already tell that my favourite thing to do in a set of Corsa now is just to load up an MX-5 on Glen Shiel and go for a drive. I can honestly see this map becoming huge overtaking the likes of Shotoko and LA Canyons. If those maps are as popular as they are now, Glenshill is going to obliterate them due to the sheer quality. As the map is so diverse, I can see a whole host of car culture staples that could be performed on the roads of Glenshill. From car meets, toge driving, cruising, rally driving and drifting, there's a little something for everyone. And when there's a lull in the action, you'll find yourself driving around in an open top roadster just to see the incredible views that Glenshiel offers. So go and give it a download. 
As always, the links are in the description. I would be happy to make a ton of content with this particular map, so if you want to see more, let me know what you would like to see in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.